Hi, I'm Alexis Morin, the co-founder and co-executive director of Students for Education Reform, or ESFER. At Students for Education Reform, we're organizing current college students into a power base for political and policy change to improve our K-12 public schools and close educational opportunity gaps in this country. Right now, adult interests are prioritized in education politics. Students are suffering. There are cities where less than 1% of students will go on to attain a college degree, which is absolutely horrendous. And if you go listen to the proceedings in the legislature at the local level, what you will hear is conversations about adult concerns, contracts, procurement, almost everything except for how students are doing. And what our students, when they organize and mobilize, can achieve is ensuring there's accountability and that elected officials are making our schools great and not leaving any students behind. One of the most important aspects of our model is that our advocates are student leaders who themselves have gone through that local school system by and large. So when they show up and are engaging with elected officials or the media or community groups, they're talking about the schools they experience themselves. So they bring that firsthand perspective and knowledge about what's working and what's not and what it takes to get to college. And thus they become the moral authority in the room and they really help push adult concerns to the back so that what we're talking about is what students need. Our campus leaders will start a club on their campus and then they'll start to work with chapters from across their city and state to identify an issue they want to advocate on behalf of over the course of the school year. When our students build a powerful base, they start to connect around shared values and then they start to build a coalition with the community. And because these are students organizing in their home communities by and large, they're able to really quickly identify the folks who are really champions for students' rights and who don't wanna allow schools to fail and for students to suffer in that context. So with a coalition formed, the students start to contact their elected officials and they start to lobby. And over the course of the year, they're able to identify the right politicians and convince them about why they have to improve public schools. And a victory for us looks like a new piece of legislation, a change to a piece of legislation, or a change to a district policy that will make sure more kids can access great schools. In our first year, we started as a student group on our college campus. And by the second year, we started to grow to more college campuses because we'd connected with other undergrads who shared our same passion and everyone wanted an opportunity to engage in this work year round, not just during their summer internships. By the end of the second year, we were on 20 college campuses and going into the third year, we actually launched a national nonprofit to support and provide coaching and advice to the campus network. And since then, we've grown to over 100 chapters across the country. The most important thing to us is that every child born in our country can access a phenomenal school and have the opportunity to pursue their dreams and we know it affects not just those kids but their communities and our entire country if we fail to make that a reality. What we need is partnership from donors at the national and the state level so that we can improve and expand our programs within the states where we currently work and grow to new states so that there isn't a state in our nation that doesn't have a group of energized students with courage and conviction who are fighting for kids. With your partnership and support, we can build a powerful student movement that touches every school and student in this nation. Thank you.